hello viewers uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today's topic is vagal reaction or uh, also known as fainting and medically known as syncope you know uh, but before starting this topic i would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day and uh, the first of all uh, uh, we need to know what is uh, fainting you know fainting uh, blacking out or syncope is a temporary loss of consciousness uh, which is followed uh, by the return to full uh, wakefulness and the loss of uh, consciousness may be accompanied by loss of muscle tone that can result in falling or slumping over you know to better understand why fainting can occur it is uh, helpful to explain why somebody is awake you know you know the brain has the multiple parts including uh, two hemispheres uh, the cerebellum and the brain stem now the brain requires blood flow to provide oxygen and glucose uh, to its cells to uh, sustain life you know and for the body to be awake uh, the area known as uh, the reticular uh, activating system which is located in and at least uh, one brain hemisphere needs to be functioning you know and for fainting or uh, syncope to occur either uh, the reticular uh, activating system uh, loses its blood supply or both the hemispheres of the brain are uh, deprived of blood oxygen and glucose you know and if blood sugar levels are normal blood uh, 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 levels are normal you know and blood flow must be briefly uh, disturbed to the whole brain or to the uh, reticular activating system for fainting to occur you know and uh, the fainting is not caused by uh, head trauma uh, since loss of uh, consciousness after a head injury is considered a uh, conscious you know like a conclusion you know and uh, however fainting can cause injury if uh, uh, the person falls or hurts themselves you know or if the faint occurs uh, while uh, participating in an activity like driving a car you know and uh, fainting is uh, differentiated from the seizure uh, during which the patient may also lose consciousness you know uh, the next thing will be uh, what are the causes you know now the next thing is what are the causes of the syncope or fainting you know you know Uh, the decreased uh, blood flow to the brain can occur because of uh, uh, the heart fails to pump the blood and uh, the blood vessels don't have enough tone uh, to maintain the blood pressure to deliver the, um, the blood to the brain you know and uh, there is not enough blood or the fluid within the blood vessels you know so these are the three main uh, are, uh, things you know and it uh, may be any one or more of these you know and uh, why this uh, blood is disrupted is it could be due to the heart rhythm changes it could be because of uh, like uh, uh, structural uh, heart structural conditions you know uh, like muscles or myocardial infarction and uh, cardiomyopathy you know or heart valve conditions and uh, uh, like a sudden cardiac death you know and uh, uh, postural hypertension and uh, uh, like uh, uh, vasovagal syncope another cause you know that can uh, disrupt the blood flow anemia uh, dehydration and uh, uh, like uh, orthostatic uh, hypertension uh, and uh, uh, vertebral uh, basilar artery disease is another uh, condition which can cause the uh, disruption to the blood flow you know to the brain and uh, uh, like uh, electrolyte imbalance or uh, other med medicines uh, like uh, high blood pressure medications or antidepressants you know like cocaine you know pregnancy is another cause you know and uh, uh, so these are the multiple causes you know uh, multiple conditions uh, which can cause the blood disruption or uh, disruption to the blood supply to the brain you know the next thing is uh, how what are the symptoms well uh, you know with the fainting a syncope uh, the patient is unaware that uh, uh, 
uh, they have passed out and uh, fallen to the ground you know and it's only afterward that they understand what has happened so uh, there are many symptoms uh, or the signs before a syncopic uh, episode which may include like uh, uh, feeling lightheadedness or nauseated or sweaty and uh, uh, weak you know and there may be uh, feeling of dizziness or the vertigo like spinning you know and uh, um, someone may feel that is uh, uh, he cannot see properly his vision is fade or blurred you know and uh, with the presyncope uh, or a near faint uh, the same symptoms will occur but the person does not quite lose the consciousness you know and uh, during the episode when the person is uh, unconscious uh, there may be a few twitches of the body which may be confused with the seizures or the uh, any other uh, epilepsy or any other activity you know and the person uh, may have some confusion after uh, waking but it should uh, resolve uh, within the few seconds you know and uh, after a syncope episode uh, there should be a quick return to the normal mental function though and there may be another sign and symptoms depending upon the underlying cause of the faint you know and for example if the individual is uh, in the uh, midst of the heart attack or uh, he or she may complain of chest pain or pressure you know and, uh, and so these are the signs and the symptoms the next thing is uh, how your doctor will uh, diagnose so as a standard procedure your uh, doctor uh, will ask you what happened uh, what was the feeling was uh, a feeling lightheadedness was a spinning was of weakness or any other uh, problem you know any other feeling before uh, fainting uh, and if uh, the patient cannot uh, tell then he may ask any other person who was around that time you know then he will uh, after this is called the history you know and after that uh, your doctor will uh, perform the physical examination so he will see any vital signs you know he will check the blood pressure he will uh, look at the skin or the nails you know just uh, to see if there is any lack of oxygen in the blood you know or uh, uh, he will look at the eyes and uh, uh, eye movement you know etc you know and uh, uh, like uh, the physical examination will try to look for the signs that will give direction to the uh, potential diagnosis you know heart monitoring uh, he will feel the pulse you know uh, if there are any heart rhythm disturbances you know and blood pressure uh, of course you know if the blood pressure was too high or too low you know uh, known as hypertension or hypertension you know uh, he will listen the lungs you know so uh, and uh, initial diagnostic tests may include like uh, electrocardiogram or ecg you know so just to see if there is any kind of abnormal heart uh, activity you know and screening the blood tests like uh, complete blood count or electrolytes and glucose and uh, kidney function tests and thyroid blood tests may be performed you know see any abnormality there and uh, the heart rhythms uh, disturbances may be uh, transit and uh, not always evident at the time of the examination you know and uh, on the questions the heart monitor which known as halter monitor you know uh, can be worn as an out, outpatient for uh, maybe 24 to 48 hours you know uh, or maybe more you know just to record any kind of uh, uh, heart function abnormalities you know and uh, there's another test which is known as uh, till table test you know uh, that can be used to uh, uncover the orthostatic hypertension and is usually done on an outpatient basis you know and uh, the patient is placed on an angle uh, on a table for 30 to 45 minutes you know and uh, the blood pressure and the pulse rate are measured with the patient in different positions you know and depending upon the uh, suspicion of uh, the healthcare or the doctor uh, imaging may be uh, required sometime you know like a ct scan and mri you know so see if there is any kind of abnormality in the brain you know and uh, often these tests are normal and uh, uh, presumptive diagnosis is made from non life threatening event you know uh, but uh, your doctor uh, may decide uh, in consultation with the patient whether further testing is needed or not you know uh, the next thing is uh, uh, once diagnosed then uh, what are the treatment options you know you know fainting is an emergency you know it's not normal and uh, when uh, in doubt you should call the emergency services straight away and uh, 
seek the medical uh, help you know and if the episode is short lived and the person returns to normal function with no uh, evidence of injury uh, it may be appropriate to contact the primary care uh, doctor you know to discuss uh, the care options and if the person is not breathing and uh, no pulse can be felt you should call the emergency services straight away in the ambulance uh, or the hospital the, uh, the because the of the potential life threatening causes of the syncope need to be initially considered and often a patient uh, who complains of fainting will be placed on a heart monitor uh, have an intravenous uh, line placed uh, oxygen supplied and the finger sticks uh, uh, finger stick blood sugar may be checked to look for any hyper hypoglycemia which means the low blood sugar you know and the further treatment will be tailored according to the uh, underlying cause you know thank you very much for watching this video if you know, need more information about any disease any medical condition uh, uh, please do not uh, forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day and if you need more information you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com thank you goodbye